Reichert House in Snyder is gearing up for one of the busiest weekends they've ever had. But they're up for the challenge, given who the hotel is named after, Frank and Dolly Reichert. They moved to the area, uh, Snyder area, um, back in the early 1900s, and they were quickly known as the first family of hospitality. And rooms are filling up fast. About 70% of the Reichert House has been booked for the eclipse weekend. And just about a week and a half or two ago, we were at 50%, so it's ticking up. And so is the price. The cost of a one-night stay here on Eclipse Weekend is about three to four hundred dollars more than average for that time of year. We'd be right around 200 to 20, something like that, um, depending on the day of the week. But uh, you know, right now with what's going on, these were five, six hundred dollars, um, and depending on the room type you're getting, it could be a little bit more. Attached to the hotel is the Jazz Boleyn restaurant. Jazz Boleyn was an, an instrument that uh, Frank Reichert invented, as a matter of fact. The general manager of the hotel and restaurant, Matt Chiazza, says if you want a table reservation that weekend, make it soon. That really goes for just about any restaurant and hotel across western New York. This is almost like the Super Bowl for some cities, that there's really nothing that you can compare it to. So we've never been in a situation where we've been at, you know, near capacity of our hotels, especially at this rate. Patrick Kaler, the president and CEO of Visit Buffalo Niagara, says we won't know the total economic impact of the total solar eclipse for a few weeks after the celestial event. But he does know this is huge for the hospitality industry, especially during that time of year. It is really a slow period for us. Um, I did a little bit of an analysis, and I think that over the last two years, our hotel occupancy was about 50%, and our overall uh, hotel uh, average daily rate for the three days uh, was about uh, $108. So we're really going to be exceeding that for uh, 2024. It's also a big opportunity for locals who have their homes and apartments on home sharing sites like Airbnb. During a time of year when people generally flock south for spring break travel, an Airbnb communications manager tells me Buffalo, Rochester, and Lake Placid are top trending spring travel destinations for 2024. In fact, New York is the top booked state on their site, despite 12 other states in the path of totality. New York, the Empire State, is the most booked state across all of North America on Airbnb for the solar eclipse. About a quarter of Airbnbs in Buffalo are still available for booking the 6th, 7th, and 8th of April. In Buffalo, Kelsey Anderson, News 4.